the Doomsday 2007. Please welcome our senior official, Red Guy, the WAW president, Miss Moody Starr. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. It is the final event of 2007, the final special of 2007. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Doomsday 2007. We have got one hell of a night planned for you. You are about to find out all the good details as our WNW president, Miss Moody Star, with senior official Red Guy at her side, make their way out here to begin. Doomsday 2007, so let's take it down to the president. Good evening, and thank you all for coming to Doomsday, which is, of course, our non-denominational Winter Fun Time special. And since it is that time of year, I hope you all opened up your wallets for the JTA Baseball Fun. Thank you. Oh, um, tonight's going to be our most wonderful, our last event of the year. And we're going to start out with a three-team sudden death. Yeah. Yeah. The winning team will get a floating team title shot. We will then have our Doomsday ladder match, where five men, oh, I'm sorry. That's going to be four men. Santa Claus came a little early for one of my competitors, so you will not see one of them in action tonight. And what is Santa Claus bringing for Moody Star this year? Maybe some new team champions because FOJ will be total chaos for the team championship belts. <laughs> and in our main event, five of my finest competitors will be beating the WW champion FO. <laughs> so, it's Christmas, it's New Say. I'm going to get downstairs, get the park started. Well, literally, I hope you all enjoy yourself. It's the final event of 2007 for WAW as we present Doomsday 2007 tonight. It will be three teams doing battle in a sudden death match as the team of Sage and Paul, Asylum, and the Syndicate will all do battle in a three team sudden death match in which a floating WAW team championship match will be on the line. And then it will be Grim, Smokey, the good old boy Troy Garbo and the returning Rob Marsh all doing battle in the 2007 Doomsday Championship ladder match in which the winner will go on to Lord of the Ring 2008 to face the WAW Champion. And then for the WAW Team Championships, it will be Total Chaos doing battle against the defending champions Full Metal Jacket. And then in the Doomsday main event, it will be Bulletproof Joey Staples, the Dark Messiah Gino Diomedes, Christian Sane, the Go With The Most, Freakin' Flax, the WAW Champion Epho, and the Returning Carnage will all do battle in the Doomsday main event, a six-man sudden death match for the WAW Championship. Ladies and gentlemen, WAW proudly presents Doomsday 2007. Mr. Happy, I realize that you're pissed off because me and Paul stole your woman and she's evolated. Ev 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 Sorry, I was having a Rocco moment there for a minute. Ooh, candy. Oh, no, no, no. And people say I'm the fat one. Anyway, Mr. Happy, she's elevated us to the top. We are the best and we are going to win. Jay Chill, don't even bother with us. I heard, uh... Jersey Devil talking shit about your brother earlier, and he said that he sucks. Speaking of sucking, Jersey Devil, all he does is dance around to Britney Spears. All right, I am one and zero against the Jersey Devil. You want to know why we are gonna win? Because we are heroes, hustlers. What about me? <laughs> She's about That's the best part. No. Seriously. Tonight's Tuesday, the Christmas special. Who cares about Christmas? Tonight, three teams. The Asylum, the Suck Essence, and Fat Smelly Fish, whatever you're called now. I'm going to teach you why I'm going to kick. It's all the hubbub, bub. What does it look like? Well, it looks like you're cutting the Asylum promo for Doomsday all by your lonesome. But that can't possibly be because we're a team. 
Rocco. Yes. Why is half your face painted up like mine? Oh, you like it? Well, I, actually, it's a pretty good job, which tells me that you definitely didn't do it yourself. Oh, I heard this makeup artist named uh, Freakin' Flax. Oh, Freakin' Flax did your makeup. Yeah, well, you did a marvelous job, but uh, to reiterate back to my original question there, why is half your face painted up like mine? Well, since somebody like Sid to rock me, since I carry your ass in this team, out in the ring, I figured I'd carry your ass in this promo. So you plan on doing our promo all by yourself? That's what it looks like. Well, I should know better than to argue with a lunatic, right? You just, you go ahead, you have yourself a good time, Rocco. Before I was interrupted, I'm gonna teach you why I'm the most disturbed, sick, and twisted son of a bitch! Well, Rocco, when you, uh, instead of talking about the match and, uh, your opportunities, I like to dance! So, Goldmaster Flax, hit that music! You got it! You wanna dance? I don't know what Sworn, I just heard you say you were gonna dance. I did dance. That wasn't dancing. It wasn't? What was it? No, that was not dancing. And I thought the whole idea of the half the face paint looking like mine was you were gonna copy me. I damn sure know you weren't copying me because I'm the Jersey Devil. I've got the moves. I can dance. I was trying to be like you. No, you know what? This whole thing is ridiculous anyway. Let me get this straight, right? Okay, last week you just abandoned and for once in your life you go home, you abandon me, you lead me to the wolves formerly known as Crash Course, now known as the Syndicate. I'm getting my ass kicked all over the ring and now you come in here with your half, your pigs, Half painted like mine and making fun of me doing stupid dancing and oh okay you know what guess what Rocco what? guess what I'm not I don't have the time to paint half my face like a jackass I mean a jack o' lantern sorry oh, oh. oh I'll be I can you can play at this game right oh look at me I'm Rocco every day is Halloween oh hold on let me get my coin look the coin's named Halloween look oh trick or treat oh it's on the R side that means you get a treat oh Ooh, oh Reese's, Reese's yeah. Rocco, I can't stay mad at you. Yeah. Look at you, you're all happy eating your candy. All right, look, honestly, I'm sorry I got upset. What I really want to know is that tonight we're in a three-team sudden death with the Syndicate and, and with Paul Clement and Sage, whatever they call themselves, okay? What I want to know is that you're not going to pull some kind of stupid screw job, that you're not going to turn on me, that we're not going to do what every other team in wrestling history has done, and then, oh, you turn on me, and then we feud for a long time, and then you're the rule breaker, and everybody still likes me, and we feud, and we grudge, and we rivalry, tell legacy when we, I don't know, we'd have like a trick-or-treat match or something. That, that's what I want to know. Are you going to not attack me tonight? Oh, since I wasn't paying attention, but no, you got it. Since tonight, I made three out of those four people tap, I'm going to make... I don't think his name's happy now. Pyro, I'm gonna make his ass tap, gonna win us team title shots, and uh, everything will be good. Really? Mm -hmm. Oh, why didn't you say so? Now, now we can relax. Now we can relax. Shake it, Moody! Come on, Chris. Come on, Chris. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> The opening contest this evening is a three-team sudden death tag match. Oh yeah, we didn't try it. Yeah! Where as soon as any legal competitor is defeated by a legal competitor of another team, then that other team will be declared the winning team. It is further stipulated that the winning team will be awarded a floating title shot. Entry first, accompanied by Riley Coyote, the team of Paul Clement and Stacy Sorello. Here we go, action underway here at Doomsday 2007, a three-team sudden death match where the winning team will be awarded floating team title shots in the team division. And here comes the team of Paul Clement, 
Zane Cirillo and Riley Coyote, who have apparently renamed themselves, or actually named themselves for the first time, but it would be Hustlers, Hoes, Heroes, whatever order you want to throw it into. I'm assuming your Hustler is Paul, your Hero is Sage, and well, I guess your Ho would be Riley. Nonetheless, here comes the team. They're going to be competing for a floating team title shot here tonight. Still can't believe Paul Clement and Sage Girolo having killed each other yet, but let's await the arrival of our next team. Yo, that's my name, dog. Give me mine, you fucking Yo, let's fucking fuck you. Entering second, Rockwell, Jersey, Paul. In the ring, we got Paul Clement and Sage Chirello opening Christmas presents from the Syndicate. This heard Paul say that it said his name on it, said it was from the Syndicate, but nonetheless, enough of that. Here comes Asylum, Rocco and the Jersey Devil. And there has been quite a bit of dissension in that team to the point where Rocco started cutting the promo for Asylum by himself with his face half painted like Devil, half painted like Rocco. You gotta wonder if Asylum's even gonna survive this match here tonight. Tension brewing between Asylum, but now let's await the arrival of our final team, the Syndicate. Tunes, new name, maybe even a new look. Sin has gone all out in trying to remodel the former crash course. And here comes Sin. Sin, Sin almost looks like he should be a, a mob boss or something, making his way out to the ring here. No Mr. Happy, no Jay Chill. Although I hear Mr. Happy has got a name change. Sin's got the microphone. He's calling for the ropes to be held open. Let's see what Sin has to say. It wasn't pleased with the ring announcing uh, duties of Peter LaBree, so he comes out and reintroduces the team of Jay Chill and Pyro. Mr. Happy renamed to Pyro, it's the team of the Syndicate. Jay Chill revealing in recent weeks that he is Iceman's brother. Pyro having all sorts of problems with the team of Paul Clement, Sage Cirillo, and Riley Coyote, which contains his ex-girlfriend. What do we got going on here? Red guy has something for the Jersey Devil from Jay Chill. of WWE legend Iceman. That's his brother. Get in this ring now. Come on, what? Come on. Yes, yes. And the Jersey Devil tears up the autograph photo of Iceman, throwing it in the air. I received word that some of the other presents that were included, I believe Sage Sorello got Slim Fast Bars, Paul Clement got Foot Powder, uh, Riley got condoms. That's nice. Rocco got empty Reese's, and as you just saw, the Jersey Devil got an autographed photo of Iceman, and this three teams, sudden death for a floating team title shot is underway with Rocco and Pyro starting things off. 
Pyro sends Rocco off the ropes, and we get a shoulder block takedown by Rocco. Pyro goes underneath Rocco off the opposite side. Pyro leaps wrong. He almost gets caught up. He ducks under Rocco, going for the go behind, goes for the roll up, doesn't get it here. Oh, Rocco with a drop kick to the knees of Pyro. Oh. Rocco tried for a flipping leg drop there. It didn't happen. Sweeps the legs. We get a cover. We get a count. We only get two. Pyro sweeps the legs. Goes for a cover. And we only get two. Pyro coming off the ropes. Going after Rocco in a wheelbarrow. Rocco's got him. Pyro's up on his feet. Oh, Rocco drives a knee right to the head. And Paul Clement blind tags into the ring on Pyro. Rocco takes Clement down. Takes him down again with an arm drag and keeps it into an arm bar. Rocco continues with the arm bar on Paul Clement, backs him into the corner, Irish whip reversed by Paul. Oh, and Sage gets hit, and he goes down to the floor. Rocco catches Paul with a boot in the stomach. Going for the reverse suplex over the ropes. Oh, wait a second. Pyro, he jumps. Oh, and Paul Clement gets kicked off the apron. Taking out Pyro, taking out Sage, and nearly taking out Riley. Rocco's up on the apron. And, oh, Rocco jumps off. I think Rocco lost his footing on that one. He kind of took out everybody. Wait a second. Sid has G chill up. He's got him in the air. And Tim Bonner takes out the crowd. Sid throws his own man. And now we are going to have a face off. Sid and the Jersey Devil. It's sudden death, so really, this can happen without anybody being disqualified. The crowd is going wild. Here comes the Jersey Devil. Back body dropped over the top rope. And the Jersey Devil takes out the crowd, courtesy of Sin. Sin back body dropped the Jersey Devil, and now he just threw Rocco back into the ring. Who wants to see me kick J. Chill's ass? That would make Rocco a legal man. J. Chill also now legal. Jersey Devil surveying the crowd as to who wants to see him kick Jay Chill's ass, but Jay Chill is out of the ring. The team of Asylum are now the legal men. They've got to make some kind of contact here before they exit. What do we got going on here? Jersey Devil firing up here. Wait a second, I've seen this routine somewhere before. Same old tired routine that people have gotten excited for for almost 30 years now. Oh, the ever so devastating big boot of the routine. Looks for the crowd reaction and the worst leg drop in the history. We're going to cover, we're going to count everybody there to break it up. second now, looks like Rocco's gonna do the same thing here. He's shaking the ropes. Going off the ropes, close line, taking him down. And whoa, whoa, can't decide which side he wants to go through. This kind of reminds me of another routine. People didn't get excited for it for quite as long as the other one you just saw. In fact, most people probably didn't really care about either. And here we go, Gorilla Press Slam. Coming off the ropes and Warrior Splash. We're gonna cover. And thankfully the match does not end with the routine from Hogan or Warrior. Oh, Rocco gives Jay Chell the tag right across the face. He says, you want a piece of the Jersey Devil? Here you go. Come and get some. Oh, Jay Chill with a clothesline on the Jersey Devil. And again with a clothesline. Now we get a bear hug. Sin now up on the apron, distracting Red Guy. This a loss for a double team by the Syndicate. Like drop down across the chest. 
Jade Hill turns it over into a Boston Crab. Pyro now. Good drop kick right to the head of the Jersey Devil. Double team effort continues while Sid distracts Red Guy. Cut her out of the catapult. It's Sid now coming down off the apron, ending the distraction and ending the double team. We get a cover. We get a count. Rock goes there to break it up. Sid now back up on the apron, arguing with Red Guy over the interference of Rocco. Wait a second. Syndicate's going for the Syndro. Devil's trying to fight it. Nothing happens there. They cover him up. Devil back flips out. Double complete shot on the Syndicate. We get a cover, we get a count, and we only get two as Red Guy is pulled from the ring by Sid. Funky flip attempt countered. And Hangman's the Jer uh, Jersey Devil, and he goes crashing down across the knee. Riley up on the apron, trying to use her womanly charms to distract Red Guy, and thus far it's working. It's like we got the big swing here. And, oh, looks very similar to the dead drop used by Gino Diomedes in tag team action. Of course, he doesn't have many friends these days, so you wouldn't normally see it. Almost got the three count on that one. Devil thrown to the floor. Oh, Sage hits Rocco, bringing Rocco into the ring. That is 100% legal on the tagless rule. Oh, hit to the face, and again. And sidewalk slam by Sage Sorello on Rocco. Once again, this time with a backbreaker, takes Rocco down, and now Sage Cirillo going for the Scout's Honor. Scout's Honor locked in by Sage Cirillo on Rocco. Will Rocco tap out here? Rocco now up to his feet, elbows to the midsection of Sage Cirillo. Oh, and a shot there to take down the Eagle of Justice. Takes down Paul Clement, takes down Jay Cho and Pyro as well. Hit toss slam by Rocco on Paul. Rocco slam on Jay Cho. Here we got here. And German suplex on Pyro. And knock out on Sage Cirillo. This could be all, we get a cover. We get one, we get two, we get Riley pulling the foot of Rocco. Rocco now chasing Riley around the ring. Sin moves to the front. Kick to the stomach. Wait a second. Two weeks of trying. Here's the third week. He's got her up. Center on Riley. Center on Riley. He got the center and the crowd erupts as Sage Cirillo and Paul Clement begin attacking Sin, who is now fighting back against Sage Cirillo and Paul Clement. In the ring, we've got the Jersey Devil and Jay Chill. I don't believe it, we finally saw the center. He tried for two weeks on Riley. Week three, Doomsday, she goes down to the center. The Jersey Devil now tries for the Devil off. He's coming off the ropes. He gets caught. Syndrome by the Syndicate. Rocco comes in, he's caught in his own crossface, cover, three, the Syndicate wins. They have been winless since July, since their debut as Crash Course. Riley got fired, Sin took over, he renamed the team, and the Syndicate not only gets their first win, but they do it at a special, and they receive floating title shots in the team division. Sin's got the microphone. Syndicate wins, I can't believe it.
Jim sending a strong message to the team division, saying the syndicate does not do its talking out back, then they do it in the ring, and they now hold floating team title shots. Wait a second, this Pyro stopping Sin. Iceman. Jay Chill this saying this one was for Iceman. Pyro stops Sin and says there's unfinished business. And Tim Bonner to the Jersey Devil, taking out Rocco. Mr. Happy, the former man known as. He used to be a happy guy, but that just showed right there that he has been changed for the worst by Sid. Pyro, J. Jill, getting their first win under the tutelage of Sid, who picks up his first managerial win here tonight at Doomsday. What a way to start off the show. Here, as our final event of 2007 gets underway. Coming up next, ladies and gentlemen, it will be the 2007 Doomsday Ladder Match for the Doomsday Championship in a WAW Championship match at Lord of the Rings.